The vetoed bill, authored by Speaker Therese Terlahi, calls for greater transparency from the 21st Century Medical Campus Committee, which is in charge of the planning for the billion-dollar facility. The measure requires that the committee adhere to the open government law and adds new members, including representatives from impacted municipalities, the legislature, the Guam Medical Society, and the Guam Medical Association. But in her veto message, the governor wrote that the bill was not about transparency, but about control by what she called obstructionist politicians. Speaker Terlahi agrees it is about control and transparency. She says the administration is mistaken if it thinks it can control a billion dollars of taxpayer money without any transparency. I'm hoping this was a fluke of a letter that was sent, and that we don't have to see this kind of government anymore. It's misguided. It's an unreasonable response to this bill and should really only strengthen this body's resolve to hold this elected administration accountable and demand our people and medical professionals have a seat on the table. And Senator Chris Barnett says it's very simple. Do we or don't we want our government to adhere and comply with the open government law? Do we or don't we want to demand transparency. But Senator Will Parkinson took on the governor's theme that the bill was a guise to somehow derail the medical campus project. Our zeal by some members of this body to deny the governor a win is astounding. And there are factions within this body, an obstructionist faction, a social justice point of faction. Personal privilege, Madam Speaker. Can we, state your point of Can we stick to privilege? the facts of the bill, arguments of the merits of the bill, and if we're going to do name calling in here, can we just take that outside, please? That is not an order at all. In his opposition, Parkinson also referenced another vetoed bill, one that requires legislative approval for federal leases of five years or more. That measure would directly impact the ongoing lease for the medical campus land in Mangila, which is for a term of 50 or more years. His motion to debate an override of the second bill was voted down. Nestor Lacanto, KOAM News.